Hello all Duel Master fans! I am back with you. I apologize for the long hiatus and video opening. So I have one of the most exciting products on the market for Duel Masters. These are the Shockwaves of the Shattered Rainbow Booster Packs. So this is from DM10. DM10 was pretty revolutionary for Duel Masters. It introduced multi-civ cards, meaning that cards could now be two different civilizations on the same card. Um, they could be fire nature, they could be water light, they could be um, water darkness. There were a lot of different combos this set introduced, which was pretty revolutionary to game. So I have a very exciting opening. I have six of these packs. And again, I do apologize for the lack of video opening between full-time work, doing some school part-time, Life's been a bit busy. So we have six of these to open. So hopefully we get some really good pulls here. So let's see what we hit. Again, there's a lot of potential for great cards in this set. Um, some of the multi sims are pretty incredible. So let's see how we do. So they, this still came with um, the promo cards. It wasn't puzzle cards anymore. They did change after DM9. This was originally meant, ooh, sorry, let me explain the rest of this. This was meant you could go to your Wizards of the Coast retailer and get a promo card, which was usually Gigandra. So it meant it was a pretty cool thing. But first rare, Crystal Spin Slicer, an incredible rare. It's a, it goes really good on Aqua Guard. It is a two-drop two well, liquid people. Incredible card. So that, oh, guys, first pack. So Crystal Spin Slicer, we got Hurricane Crawler, which is excellent because I actually need this for collection. So Hurricane Crawler, when you put this creature into the battle zone, put all the cards from your hand into your mana zone, then put that many cards from your mana zone into your hand. So it doesn't specify they have to be tapped. There's another card in this set, I think it's Carnival Totem, that specifies they have to be tapped. So with this one, to my knowledge, you can put the cards into your mana zone untapped, allowing you to play again that turn. So, pretty cool card. Wow, first first pack, super rare. Not the not the most rare of them all, but pretty fantastic. Next, we have Wind Axe Warrior Savage. This is one of those multi safe cards. Another excellent card. Uh, when you put them into the battle zone, destroy an opponent's creature with blocker. Then put the top card of your deck in your mana zone. These, a lot of these cards that are multi sieve usually had two effects, which made them pretty useful. We have Vorg's Engine, Pierre Psycho Doll, Mesabana Expanse Guardian, Adventure Boar, Colossus Booster, Mummy Wrap, Shadow Fatigue, and Recon Operation. So, as mentioned, guys, this set is really amazing. This may be the set that broke Duel Masters. Um, it introduced a card, if we pull it, it'll be fantastic, called Bomb Bazaar, that actually gave you an extra turn after summoning it. So either way, we're on, off to an amazing start right now. So we'll see what we can get from the uh, rest of the packs. So another one of the promo cards, Shaman Broccoli, which is pretty good rare too. So just like Mighty Shouter, when he's destroyed, he would go in your mana zone. And we got another foil! Galazao Dragon. I probably said that wrong. Um, he's just a beefed up monster. Nine, nine cost, double breaker, no special effect. Very cool artwork though with him. So, that, wow, two foils to start off. That's pretty fantastic. Buoyant Blowfish, there's another multi-siv, Ulex the Dauntless. Um, he cannot he cannot be tapped by an opponent's card effect that, spec that targets it. Um, Brochica, Channeler of Suns, Fairy Life, Alternative Art from the DM6, Mesger, Commando Leader, McKay, Rattling Doll, Recon Operation, and Mesabana. So, this is really going pretty well so far. So, hopefully we didn't do our pulls early, but there are still some very good rares in this set. So even if we don't pull in our foil, the rares themselves are pretty decent too. So we have our promo card, Soda Light, which is another thing they introduced in this set. So this has the Silent Skill ability. Um, silent Skill is the creature gets its ability 
when it's tapped on your opponent's turn, or when it's tapped on the start of your turn. So if it's tapped to start your turn, you can leave it tapped and get an effect. There's a couple cards that said like that. This one particular has the effect of, I think it's death, uh, Proclamation of Death. Your opponent chooses one of his creatures and destroys it, which is pretty great. Oh, nice! Gajir Butte Vile Centurion for our foil. Wow, three foils, guys. This is pretty fantastic so far. Um, this card has a really good effect. I actually have a nice deck on this one. When you put this creature in the battle zone, choose one of your opponent's shields and put it into the graveyard. Kind of like uh, Balmedia Steel Dragon. So that is a really good card. Sandfist the Savage Vizier. Siren Concerto. Galek the Shadow Warrior. Adventure Boar. Phantom Dragon Flame. Again, alternative art from DM6. Hourglass Mutant. Milporo, which is another silent skill card. And Solar Ray. 3-3, three three, guys. Is it possible for us to open all foils? Probably not. But this has so far been a really good opening. So let's see if we can uh, keep the good vibes going. So another promo card. Paleolis is another fantastic rare. This one's very difficult for the opponent to uh, hit your field when it's on the field. During your opponent's turn, each of your other creatures get plus 2,000. Again, when you start stacking these, your field gets huge. Oh, guys, another one! Tanzanite the Awakener. This one is a great card to run if you use four of a certain card in your deck. So with him, um, he's Dellbreaker, seven cost. Instead of having this creature attack, you may tap it to use its tap ability. You choose a creature in your graveyard, return all creatures that have that name from your graveyard to your hand. So, four Bronze Arm Tribes, four Aqua Hulkus, uh, four Gajir Butte. So, I mean, there's a lot you can do with that card. It does cost a lot, but it is uh, really good. Wow, we have to move some stuff. We are hitting a lot of good stuff. Pinpoint Lutron, um, Bulguff, the Spy Droid, Spore Blast, Orenji. Yeah, so three Silent Skills there. So, again, there's a lot of different Silent Skill cards in this deck. So, or not this deck, this set. So, Jiggly Totem, Colossus Boost, Mummy Wrap, Shadow Fatigue, uh, Flora Gill, Manta, and Flodani, the Spy Droid. And again, I want to thank my friend in um, Idaho, Idaho. I think it's Idaho. I always mix up Idaho and Iowa. Um, he helped get me these packs. So, I have still some of those MJ Holding packs from previous videos. And we did a trade to get these. I gave him quite a few of the, uh, quite a few of the MJ packs with cash. And yeah, I I couldn't pass on a chance to open this set. This set is incredible. Another promo card, Aqua Skydiver. Next, oh dude, another, another Gajir Butte. It's this has been wow. Another Gajir Butte, when you put this creature in the battle zone, choose one of your opponent's shields and put it into the graveyard. So yeah, two Gajir Buttes in this opening. Wow, uh, I'm I I'm speechless. So far, this has been incredible. I mean, we could have gotten... There's a couple cards in this set that are worth an incredible amount of money, but just to pull foils and show you guys some of the cards in this set, really cool. Taunting Sky Terror, Spinal Parasite, Point of the Aqua Shadow, another multi sip card. Mesger, Commando Leader, Benzo the Hidden Fury, Florgil Manta, Mesabana, and Adventure Boar. Well, guys, I didn't think this possible. We are going for the sweep. Six out of six. Can we do it? This will be fantastic if we can. We may have it, maybe not. Promo card. Hurlosaur, unfortunately another Rock Beast, as I may have mentioned in an MJ Holding Company video. Rock Beast never really got much support, so not the best. Well, we did not get a foil, but I really can't complain too much. It's been fantastic. Gone to the Warrior Savage. This is a fantastic card for rush decks. So with him, he does not have effect, but he only costs two, and he has 4,000 power. So the only thing that's stopping him for rush is maybe Bloody Skeeto, if that's what your opponent has, which is a 4,000 blocker. Really quality card that gets over a lot of things. Twitchhorn the Aggressor, Taunting Sky Terror, Spiral Gate, which is another reprint from DM1 and DM6, Ferris Saturn, Spectral Knight, Mummy Wrap, Shadow Fatigue, Thirst for the Hunt, Fam Dragon Flame, and Benzo the Hidden Fury. So guys, this opening 
was amazing. So we got the following multi sieve cards. So that's pretty amazing. Our rares were also really good, especially Crystal Spin Slicer and Paleolysis. And finally for the foils, wow, we were five out of six. So only one super rare, but I can't complain at all. This is fantastic. Two Gajir Butte. We have a Tanzanite, uh, Galazal Dragon, and Hurricane Crawler. So there's a couple cards I'm really excited to pull here. I can throw some in collection, maybe work on decks in the future, more for you guys. Um, yeah, again, I apologize for the long wait between videos. I do, I do want to try getting back to the once a week for a video, but again, life was just very busy between school and everything. So yeah, this was an amazing video to come back on. So again, I want to thank my friend for helping me get these packs. I hope you all enjoyed this opening, and stay tuned for more Duel Master content. Much appreciate, guys.